Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweat and I'm and in this tutorial, I want to show you how I do color grading in Photoshop. I know I've been doing so many tutorials about how to color grade in Capture One. So this is going to be a Photoshop or a camera raw interface kind of color grading tutorial. So let's kick in with this first tutorial. And you can see, let's, let me just show you a quick before and after for this image. This is the before and this is what we are going to be achieving in this very tutorial so let's just kick in with this very tutorial so as you're seeing i'm in camera raw and i'm using a slightly older version of camera raw. i'm using 12.4 and i shot this image using my canon 6d camera with a 70 f 2.8 tamron lens and i shot it at iso 160 and the f stop was 2.8 and the shutter speed was one out of 1000 one out of one thousand of a second and basically i wanted to get more information in the highlights you can see that so usually i shoot in raw that is why i have so much detail and i recover so much information within the highlights of the images so I'm just going to come right here and i'm going to reset the image to default so that we can learn everything from the very start so right now in the camera interface basically the very first thing i do is coming under the basic right here so i open up the basic panel and what i tend to do i come to the highlights and i take the highlights slider down so depending on your image you can adjust that depending on what you want to do or what you want to eliminate. and for my case the highlights in the image are a little bit blown out so i take the highlight slider all the way down and i do the same for the whites and that gets me most of the blues within the sky right here and most of the information is gotten back within uh, the shots of the model right here so after doing those i come and add contrast within the image so because i prefer my images to be a little bit contrasty then i come i take the blacks slightly down to add a slight bit of contrast then i open up my shadow slightly so i'm done doing the basic adjustments then i, I come right here to my clarity and when it comes to clarity, I just add a tiny bit of clarity of around 5. And that adds a little bit more definition within the image. So after doing the basic adjustments, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the vibrance so that the image can really pop within the skin tone. So I'm just going to add around 12. 12 is fine. Then after doing those basic adjustments, I'm going to come down straight to my color mixer so. Just open up your color mixer tool and you're going to have hue, saturation and luminance. So luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color. Saturation is the intensity of a given color. And hue, when you move the hue sliders, you'll be making a given color look like a color on top of it or a color below it. For example, if at all I'm um, come to the blues, just look at the shots of a model. If I take the blues towards the left hand side, I'm going to be making the blues look like the aquas. So taking a slide that was the le left hand side makes a given color that you're really working on look like a color just on top of it. And taking it towards the right hand side is going to be making the color that you're working on look like the color just below it. You can see when I take it towards the right hand side, it made the blues look purple. So basically that is how the hue slider works. So with that information or knowledge taken into consideration we're just going to start working on this image so usually what i want to work with i want first of all get back the nice and pop in the sky so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come the luminance and since luminance is more of the brightness or darkness of a given color i want to make the blue color in this image darker so when you take the slider down it's going to make that color dark you can see that i'm not going to take it all the way down because when you take it all the way down, you're going to get this kind of fringing around the edges and it is going to look very weird. So you have to be careful when it comes to moving the luminous slider. So I'm just going to leave it at, up to around minus 31. That looks okay. Let's go with minus 28. And after doing that, we're just going to come to the oranges and simply dial that back down up to around negative 4. And that looks fine. Then after playing with that, I'm just going to come to saturation. Remember, saturation is the intensity of a given color. 
So what I want to do, I want the blues to pop or to intensify the blues in the image so that they can stand out and blend together or alongside the skin tones. So I'm just going to come to the blues and I'm going to take the saturation all the way up. And after taking it up, you can see it still causes that fringing around the edges of the model or around the prominent edges in the image and doesn't look fine. So after taking it all the way up, just come and dial that back down. Just look at that. So I'm just going to take it down. Just a little bit. And that looks okay. So after playing around with the saturation and intensifying the blues in the image, I've not taken it overboard. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the hues and I'm going to play around with the blue color still. So I'm just going to hue the blue color towards the aquas so that I can have that kind of teal look added to the image just like that. And after doing that, I can come back to the luminous and I take down the aquas still because Right now I've just made the blues look like the aquas, so taking the aquas slightly down in the luminosity is going to make the blues pop a little bit more. So after that I'm just going to come to the hues and since I'm dealing with reds, I want to want, I want to work with the skin tones or to work on the skin tones. So I feel like the reds are really contradicting the oranges if at all I'm to zoom in right here. I'm just going to single click right, you can see. I have the reds that are a little bit blending more with the skin. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the red slider towards the oranges so that I can eliminate the reds within the skin tone. And that is going to make the image look a little bit more of the orange color. And after doing that, I'm just going to come the oranges, then shift the oranges towards the red side just like that. And that is going to make the colors look quite better. So let's see where we started and where we are right now so this is the before and this is where we are right now so the next thing i want to do is to handle the greens right here i'm just going to come to this and i'm going to take the green slide that was the left hand side and i could come and do the same for my yellows so yellows i'm just going to take it opposite towards the greens up to around 25 and that looks okay but the image is not popping and in order to make the image pop a little bit more and stand out even more, you're just going to go straight down to the calibration. So we're just going to come all the way down to the calibration panel. And under this, we just want to come to the saturation of the blue primary. And we're just going to take it up just like that. Just look at how the image is now going to pop. Just look at this. Just going to take it up a little bit more. And just look at how popping the image is right now. Just look at the before and after for just the calibration slider. That's the before and that's where we are right now. Just look at the blues in the image. And after doing that, we're just going to come the saturation. And we're just going to simply take up the saturation of the greens. And also intensify the saturation of the red primary. Just like that around 6 looks fine. So let's look at the before and after for this very image. So this is the before and this is where we are right now, before and after. So this is how you can easily color grade your images in camera if at all you don't have Capture One. And what you have to understand basically is the colors you're working on in the images. So if at all you take that into consideration and you know the hue values, the luminance values, and the saturation values of a given color, you can work around and color grade any image in camera or even in Photoshop if at all you don't have capture. And so this is it for today's tutorial. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tools and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.